Are you struggling with high memory usage while processing PDFs with WAND and PyTesseract? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue and show you how to reduce memory usage effectively. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when your application crashes due to memory limits. It can feel like you're hitting a wall, especially when you're trying to get work done. Many users face similar challenges, and it's important to know that there are solutions. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked how to reduce memory usage when using WAND and Patesseract to extract text from PDFs. They mentioned that even a relatively small PDF can lead to memory issues, causing their process to be stopped by the out-of-memory killer. Sound familiar? Let's explore some solutions together. So what's happening behind the scenes? When you convert a PDF to an image, it can consume a lot of memory, especially if the PDF is large or has many pages. Understanding this will help us find ways to optimize memory usage. Stay with me, because at the end of this video, I'll share a powerful tip that can help you manage memory usage effectively and keep your processes running smoothly. To begin reducing memory usage, the user can modify the way they handle the PDF files. Instead of loading the entire PDF into memory, they can process it one page at a time. This can be achieved by using the image class from WAN to open each page individually. Next, the user should ensure that they are converting each page to an image format only when needed. This means creating the PNG blob for each page right after opening it, rather than storing all pages in memory at once. Additionally, the user can optimize the memory usage by limiting the resolution of the images being processed. A lower resolution can significantly reduce the memory footprint while still providing acceptable text extraction results. Finally, if the user wants to interface directly with ImageMagick, they can use the subprocess module in Python. This allows them to run ImageMagick commands directly from their Python code, giving them more control over memory usage. Fun fact, did you know that the first PDF file was created in 1993? It's amazing how far technology has come, but managing memory is still a challenge for many developers today. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach to reduce memory usage with WAND involves using context management. This ensures resources are properly managed and released after use. Avoid creating blobs for data transfer, as this can lead to excessive memory allocation. Instead, use WAN's methods directly to manage images without involving Python's memory. Additionally, consider isolating tasks to prevent memory leaks and be mindful of the resolution settings to avoid creating unnecessarily large images. The user also suggests leveraging C-types to manage the image stack directly, which can help minimize Python's memory footprint. This method allows for efficient processing of each image in the PDF without holding unnecessary data in memory. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach shared by another user involves managing memory more effectively using the with statement and the destroy function. They found that using with to open and read files helps manage memory and temporary files properly. This user emphasizes that combining these methods resolve their memory leak issues, especially when iterating through image sequences. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative solution shared by a user involves importing C types instead of C styles. They found that saving the image and then loading it again helped reduce memory usage. Additionally, they discovered a method to convert WAND images to PIL images in memory, which can further optimize the process. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. One user faced a similar memory issue and found a helpful resource on limiting memory usage in ImageMagick through WAND. They suggest setting a memory limit in your code. They noted that while this may increase computation time, they didn't notice a significant difference in performance. They confirmed the effectiveness of this method using Python's memory profiler. 
Here's the tip I promised. Regularly monitor your memory usage and adjust your processing techniques accordingly. This proactive approach can save you from unexpected crashes and improve your workflow. And there you have it. By implementing these strategies, you should see a significant reduction in memory usage when processing PDFs. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and remember to keep experimenting with your code.